What's happening? What's happening, man? This is Aspie Chuck with, man. Chuck filmed it. And you know, I got the goddamn man who. Tell them who you is, bro. AKA, man. They call me Diddy, man. AKA Murder Scene, man. Real peace shit, man. Murder shit, you feel me? So, okay, the only name I'm gonna call y'all the whole name, like, long as you just gave, because you gave up a lot of shit, you know? Right. But I'm gonna call you Day Day. Right. Okay, so, the first thing hit my head when I think of Day Day, you know what that is, right? Yeah, I'll what Friday. that is? I'll Friday. Yeah, 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 hell yeah, hell yeah, y'all, yeah. Later, earlier today, you know, you told me that you were incarcerated a while back. Um, y'all ever watch that next Friday shit in, in, in the penitentiary? Of course, of course, you know what I'm saying? Everybody don't see that shit on the streets, you feel what I'm saying? But, yeah, I told you I was incarcerated, man. I did 14 years, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? 10 toes down, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Nigga, look it up. Nigga, know what time it is, man. And one thing, one thing I never do, such as another vlog or uh, interview, ask this question and don't answer it. What the fuck you did to go through 14 years? Yeah, but wait, yeah. we ain't gonna talk about that. That's old. We got over that. We got over that shit. When you was doing them 14 years, we ain't talking about the case. When you was doing them 15 years, what made that shit hard on you or made it easier for you to get back? But we're gonna start with what made it easier. Yeah, man. What really made that bit easier for me, you know what I'm saying? Nigga just look forward to that family, you feel me? That's all you got at the end of the day, you feel what I'm saying? So your mind just stay focused on the family at all times, you feel me? Because you know them loved ones want you out there back on the streets. You know what I'm saying? That would make it easier for me, you know what I'm saying? Especially my old girl who rock with me 10 toes down the whole day, you feel me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay, so before we get to the hard part, you don't mind me asking, how are you? I'm 32. You're 32? Okay. You went and did 14 years of your 32 years of living. What made that shit hard? What made it hard was, man, like, everything I done missed out on, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? Everything that I could dream of, what my dreams were supposed to go at, you feel what I'm saying? It's like, you know what I'm saying? I threw it all away. I threw it all away. You feel me? For me, it was for a good cause. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gonna talk about the case. It was for a good cause, though. You feel what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, if I could do it all over again, I would. You feel me? You would do it all over. I'd Same way, you would change some shit. You know what I'm saying? I change. You you'll feel change. me? I change. You will change. You make that shit good. Right, 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 right. Okay, right, right. so that sound like this kind of quest to him. And I know you heard that as a kid. If you could take it all back, what would you do different? But you know, you'll somewhere keep that shit the same, but you'll feel different other than your jail case. Other than my jail case, man, be honest with you, dog. If I could do it differently, man, you feel me? Just hang around these fuck niggas, bro, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? My brother always told me, God bless his soul, man, you feel me? And you don't need no money, you know what I'm saying? You don't need, you don't need no other nigga around you to get money, bro, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? If I could have kept it like that, though, you feel me? That's what I'd change, bro, you feel me? I wouldn't even be in a predicament for a nigga to tell him, you smell what I'm saying? Right, so, right. And I'm going to tell you, man, you're interested in talking about, you know, you got a, you got an open mind to the shit that was in society while you were doing time. And I could say this, and I'm going to just, I'm going to throw the interview a little bit, you know. I'm going to bring up me. I'm 31 years old. I did eight years, man. Eight consecutive years. So me listening to what you were just saying to me, I'm like, damn, that's why you probably see I'm sad in the face. I'm like, damn, but they didn't say shit to me. A fucked up case calls you 14 years of your life. A fucked up case calls me. Eight years of my life. My nephews and nieces weren't even born yet. I had four, maybe five more born. Fucked over their life, you know. They doing what they doing now, but they really don't even listen to a nigga because a nigga went there day for day teaching them this shit, you know. And back to you. You say you uh, you, you getting into the music, right? Yeah, man. I'm gonna go ahead and get into the rap industry. You feel what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Entertainment. You feel me? You know what I'm saying? I've been writing. You feel me? I ain't dropped yet. You know? You feel me? It's coming soon, though. You were writing on your beat? Yeah, I was writing on my beat. So you got a shitload of music. I ain't gonna say I got a shitload, you know what I'm saying? All far wise at the end of the bit, you know what I'm saying? They just came to the race, you know what I'm saying? The people that would put it in front of me, you know what I'm saying? Tell you I ain't gonna lie, man. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, man. Yeah. It's like me talking to myself, talking to you, but I ain't gonna even bullshit oh, really? to you. I ain't gonna even bullshit to you, dog. Like, shit, I was making music in that bit too, making rap, making rap out the rap. I'm gonna tell you something that fucked me over, though. And this is the God on this truth. When I was in jail, I was energy, but I wasn't energy. I was energy enough to get that goddamn canteen. It's not my name, but in my name or some shit at times. Right. But goddamn, I'm trying to get all the state shit. I'm trying to get all that shit they passed tonight. But it comes with survival. 
right. feel me? When you in prison, man, it comes to survival. You right. can't think about, you know what I'm saying? If a person gonna send you money out here on the street, time hard out here, you feel what I'm saying? So you gonna make money if you inside prison. Right. You know what I'm saying? That's just the hustle inside you, you feel right. what I'm saying? To make sure hey, you man. Street. You got a motherfucking candy man. Uh, really? You got a nigga that wore them t-shirts and we got them, we got a boat of 20 of them bitches coming uh, in really? tomorrow. To tell Niggas you. don't understand that shit. Yeah. I've never been to prison. Yeah. But man, how that shit was ran while I was at, it was hard for me. I ain't gonna even lie. It was hard, but I was always a communicative person. So it was so hard to know somebody coming in and say, hey, boy, get right, get right. Right, right, right. I know the goddamn, hey, man, they finna shake down that bitch. They making sure boy was good. Because I had shit going, you know. Who would fuck up in the city for the for the search they been I'm a nut up, goddammit. What the fuck y'all keep fucking with us, but we ain't doing we already in jail, bitch. I don't got the camera. What the fuck we wrong with? Yeah, yeah, hell yeah, hell yeah.